Hello Internet, and welcome back to an Author Plays Pokemon Insurgents version 116. Uh, when we last left off, we just finished up hearing all that prophecy what's it's in the haunted library. And uh, I took care of some things on the off, and the downtime rather, got us out of there, healed everybody up, stocked up on items, and got myself a cool little headband because we had extra money, so why not do it, right? Anyways, this is where those trainers that were battling with the Zigzagoon and Poochian or whatever were, were, were duking it out, so I'm assuming this is where we gotta go since it's no longer blocked off. So let's go. Alright. My hair's a mess today, I apologize. I mean, it's a mess every day. Like, I have a mop of curly brown hair. There's really, there's really nothing you can do with it other than just let it do its thing. But, hi, Chansey. How are you? That's not what I expected to find out here. It's very cool, though. Alright, anyways, um, yeah, not a whole lot you can do with this. <laughs> That's fun, just like this hound doom. Hi, I'm leaving now. Nice seeing you. You, fight me. I heard there was a hidden grotto on this route. I've been searching for it for ages. I wish I knew what to look for. Oh, I, I keep forgetting those are a thing. I'm sure I've missed so many of those. I actually don't really remember what to look for for one of those. Huh. I'll have to... Keep that in mind. Let's see. Glaceon was probably a bad idea, because I'm assuming this Ambipom has a fighting move. But I really like Glaceon, so there's that. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Nasty plot. Okay. No thank you. Be frozen. No? Okay. I'm gonna go psychic in case... In case he uses a fighting move, because I know that they have... I know that they have fighting moves, I just... I like Glaceon. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I heard there's a chance to see a rare Pokemon in it. Okay. What's this? This is nothing. Okay. Um. Are you a thing? No? Okay. I don't know what... Like, I don't know which of these are items, and I guess none of these are items I can pick up, really. So, a hidden grotto. I remember there was a difference in, like, the shadows... But other than that, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I don't really remember what I'm looking for. It was a long time ago. Aww. Hi there, how's it going? Oh no, a trainer. I'm not prepared. I can't lose. <laughs> uh, I guess I did come up to her and surprise her. It's not exactly like a... Oh. Well, it's not like that's uh Come on, words. Come to me, please. Normally I'm the one being attacked, not them. So I guess it's nice to change up the pace every now and again. Am I right? <laughs> uh, I'm a dweeb, you don't have to say anything. I know it already. Okay, let's see what Umbreon can do here. Gyrobal, it's a good thing I didn't go with Glaceon. That would have ended poorly for us. Foul play, however, is not doing very much. Dog a hole. Um, That's interesting that they don't have that animated. We'll just send in Marty. I don't really want to play around with the Sandshrews games anymore. Yeah, Dig should do basically nothing, yeah. It's weird to me that Sandslash, which as I recall is a fairly fast Pokemon, like moderately fast Pokemon, has access to a move that... Access to a move that is essentially f useless for him. Like, Gyroball does more damage if you're slower, and Sandshrew is pretty fast. Not amazingly, but decently. So it's just interesting to me that he has a move available to him that doesn't really synergize with his stats. I don't remember if that's something that he just learns normally, or if that is uh, part of this game. Whatever. What I do know is that it doesn't make sense to me in my, my very, very finite wisdom. Okay, so where's this hidden grotto? I see a house. <laughs> oh, that is excellent. I love that sprite. Hey guys, how's it going? You should always examine every nook and cranny of a new errand. You never know what you might find. For example, by looking under Selene City, I saw a rundown tower chock full of rare Pokemon. Interesting. Where is Selene City? So I don't forget that. There's a TM for a rare weather inducing move in the Ultira Library. Is that the TM? Uh, so I, I did find a TM off camera. TM like 62, I think? Something like that. And I was curious as to what that did, but I didn't really look at it. The sky darkens tonight, increasing the power of dark and ghost-type moves. 
Huh. So you can make a moon team. Theoretically. That's interesting. I wonder if there are any abilities in this game that they've added that, like, synergize with that. Kind of like how for, like, rain you've got rain dish and swift swim and all that. And for sun, there's, uh... Oh, there's no berries. Or for sun, there's, uh, chlorophyll and solar powered. That was the one I couldn't remember. Oh, we're fighting a kid. Okay. Oh, he's a ninja kid. Okay, I forgot about these. Hariyama. Okay. Um... Glaceon? Glaceon. No, Glaceon's bad. Glaceon dies to Hariyama. Go Espeon. Oh, man. Where are my words? I seem to have lost them. Probably wherever I left my head. <laughs> okay, this is why we have Espeon. Or, like, four Eevees kind of glued together with that Mega. <laughs> Hariyama, no, are you alright? Sorry, kiddo. Welcome to Type Advantages. Ooh! Over there! That looks like a slightly darker shadow. Are you a thing? There's a small opening in the trees. Alright. So what do you have here? I can't remember the name of you, but I know that you're a Gen 6 Pokemon. Spritzy. I have absolutely no way of catching this stupid thing. Um... Would you like to stay inside of this Ultra Ball for me? Maybe. Please. Probably not. One, two, three. Ah, okay. I'll try one more. Came confused. Not a big deal. I mean, I if I breathe on this thing with any of my Pokemon, then it's going to faint. And there's really nothing else I can do. Oh, we got it. Cool. Nice. All right, I was not expecting that. Now we have ourselves a nice little fairy. The perfume Pokemon. <laughs> it's like eight inches tall, it's awesome. Uh, we will call you... I'm running out of S names. Let's call you... Steven? I don't think I have a Steven yet. I don't remember. All right, cool. So that's a thing that happened. Somehow. <laughs> I actually did not expect to find it. Hi, how's it going? You don't stand a chance against me. I'm a psychic. I can predict your... Really? Can you predict that my lead Pokemon is part dark type? Oh, look at me. I'm floating the Pokeball. Sorry, I'm stretching. Oh. Uh, excuse me. I haven't been sleeping well lately. Oh, man. Still getting used to the new apartment. Oh, I haven't been sleeping well. And, uh... I've noticed over the last couple days when I'm, like, editing videos or whatnot that my tone is a lot lower than normal. So I apologize for that. I'm trying- like, I'm, I'm chipper, I'm happy, I'm honest, I'm just lower than I otherwise would be. <laughs> uh, meow stick? Yeah, I don't see a reason to switch out here. Roleplay. Copied sync- okay. So now if I get a status effect, I'm going to put the status effect on you, which will then put it back to me. Because reasons? Ice beam, just because we can. There you go. Now you have ice body. Not that that really does anything for you. Because it's not hailing. How could I have lost? Because I'm better than you. That's how. Have you met me? I got three badges. In this game, that's a big feat. You mind if we battle? My Pokemon need training and you look like easy- uh, ex excuse me! Excuse me! Have you met the bullshit that I've had to go through? I fought Mega Rayquaza. Don't even go there. That's not gonna fly. No. Just no. That's not okay. Hmm. I took way more offense to that than I probably should have. Oh, man. Okay. Earthquake. Oh, come on. Whatever. Whatever. Power gem. I don't know what power gem does, now that I think about it. Rock move? I don't remember. Huh. Let's induce... Back tile. So we want... Cleaver? Yeah, we want cleaver. Haven't had Cleaver out in a while, so we might as well, right? 
Please don't have Mega Spectile. That would be bullcrap. Ah, oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, man. I just, for whatever reason, I have not been sleeping well. I cannot seem to, uh... Like, it's eight or nine hours of sleep, but it's interrupted sleep, where I'm, like, waking up every two or three hours. So, I'm just... I'm beat. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. I'm just beat. Uh, hi there, dude. Ever since Pika Taxi became popular, nobody really has a need for HMO2 anymore. I sell it to you, but I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to pay for it. You can just have it for... F oh, cool. I don't think I have anybody that can learn fly, though. Yeah. And I don't have a huge issue with just paying the 500 a pop. Miara Town. Cool. Oh, balls. Ah, Miara Town, my favorite place in Torin. What a lovely, lovely town. It's peaceful, serene, and built over the shining sea. And totally not stereotypical for I, as a cultist of Kyogre, to appreciate. And of course, the Whirl Islands are, are now rest... Just? Are now rest just a mountain a right away? I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's there. It's almost a shame, really. Perhaps when I flood the region, I'll leave this town for last. At last, the sea is awakening once more. It's time to bring its king his crown. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, I don't want to deal with them, but I know that's kind of the point of the game. It's founded many years ago by sailors from the south. Our little town was the very first one in Torin. I think it's awesome that our great region has such humble beginnings. I agree. That's pretty interesting. Because Miara Town is near the ocean, we often get travelers from overseas stopping by. That's why we have an international center here. It's where tourists first arrive when visiting Torrent. That's pretty cool. This is kind of like the port city for the region. That blue lady gives me the willies. <laughs> she doesn't seem... Trust me, kid. She's freaking not. Hey, excuse me, I'm trying to talk to you. Here in Miara, we pride ourselves on our trading outposts. People from regions and countries all over the world gather here to trade Pokemon. Okay, so is that what this is, or is this the International Center? Ooh, that music is interesting. Hi! Museum, the oh, the museum. I'm not overly interested in the museum right now, but I'm sure I will have to come back here eventually. Is this also the museum? Okay, this is also the museum. Ooh! That's weird that the Pika Bus... Like, the only way to get to the Pika Bus is through the museum. I mean, I guess it's kind of thematic. You know, you think of public, or at least I think of public transportation or, or buses when I think of the museum. Maybe that's just because how any time I've gone to the museum, that's how I've gone. Uh, if you squint past the storm clouds, you can see a group of islands to the southeast. It might sound crazy, but I swear they weren't there a few months ago. I'm tempted to head down there and figure out what's going on, but I don't want to get in over my head. It's better to be safe than sorry. I agree, but since I'm the hero of this story, I'm going to have to go over there anyway, aren't I? Sunflora. It's holding a Dawnstone. Okay, cool. I will take that. And I will put this in my pocket, and I will talk to you. I heard the auger went to Telnor Town and got attacked by assassins. Sorry, I hope the same thing doesn't happen if you... Or scary. I'm not sorry. <laughs> it's like, sorry, why are you sorry? You weren't there. Did you know that poison types can never miss the move toxic? In my opinion, Will-O-Wisp should work the same with fire types. But hey, nothing really makes sense about Pokemon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's called balance. If you can't appreciate the arbitrary reasons why we balance things a certain way... Uh, my suspension of disbelief. Have you ever heard of the Dragon Ruins? I hear it has some connection to Unovan mythology, but I can't really be sure. It's right next to Selene City. Cool. Super famous explorer. I want to grow up to be just like him. Isn't that adorable? Seriously, isn't that just adorable? Uh, are you the multicultural center? International center? Whatever it's called? Somebody here wants to trade a Delta species po Okay. I need that in my face right now. I'll trade you my Machoke for a Beedrill. No thank you. What about you? My Haunter, your Vigoroth. Nope. I have nothing to trade, I'm just here for the Fantastic Culture Exchange. Okay. Tropius for a Vibrava. No thank you. I don't really want my Slugma anymore. No thank you. Is nobody going to tell me that they have a Delta? Oh, okay, thank you. A Coughing. How about a Pseudo Legendary? Um, I don't know that I have one of those. Is there a PC in here? I mean, yes, but can I use it? No? Okay, that's nice. I don't think that I have a pseudo-legendary available to me. I might have to go out and catch one. Because I kind of, like, I'm trying to get as many of the deltas as I can because I think they're so cool. You should keep your Pokemon healed and healthy. You need to stay safe. You look really a bit too young to be on such a long journey. Oh, come on, I just bought revives in the first town. Really? 
Really? Okay, where's the Pokemon Center here? Oh, ask and you shall receive, it seems. Okay. Let's see. So who or what do I have available to me? I finally got around to getting all of the fossils situated, so... That's cool. Um, I don't have any pseudo-legendaries available to me. Hmm. What does my Pokedex say about that, though? Can I search by stats? No. Okay, let's search dragons. Maybe I can catch a dragon type. As a pseudo. Nope! Okay. Pseudo legendaries. I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to look them up. I can't remember all of them at the moment. So it turns out that I haven't seen any pseudo legendaries yet, which I guess makes sense considering they're supposed to be rare. But I'm a little disappointed that I can't get a, a, a Delta coughing, you know? But what are you gonna do, right? So I guess we'll continue to explore around the city because of how small and peaceful it is. Hopefully you can stay. A lot of tourists end up moving in. That's interesting. Um, I would like to know where I need to go in order to progress the storyline, though, because I feel like I am just walking around in circles, and indeed, I believe so. Do I need to surf from the museum? That's what the game is telling me right now. Yeah, it looks like I need to surf a little bit south. Okay. Let's just go through the museum, I guess. We measure the age of fossils through something called carbon dating. Basically, certain elements will decay over time to other ones. Yeah, via radioactive decay. Uh, we measure the amount of the original element, the element that it decays into, and since we know how long it takes to decay, all it takes is a bit of math. Yeah, it's actually not overly complicated. It's why you learned it in high school. Uh, this particular Pokeball is ancient. I don't think we've ever seen. Interesting. We've dubbed it the Ancient Ball, and we still haven't found its purpose. Cool. Ordered these fossils from the gift shop, but they gave me more than I needed. Old Amber. I already have an Aerodactyl. <laughs> uh, it's absolutely stunning. For an artist like me, it's the perfect inspiration. Very cool. What do you have to say, dude? Nope, sorry. So bad at bumping the mic. I love exploring museums and learning about the past. I would love to see a Kabutops before it became a fossil, or an Aerodactyl. I mean, I have them in my computer. Did you, I mean, do you want to see them? <laughs> I have them. It's incredible that we actually have an object as rare as the blue orb. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry, but the blue orb was donated to us by an important sponsor. It's very valuable, so I'll need to accompany you if you want to take a closer look. Sounds good. Okay. This orb has quite the history. It powered Kyogre back in the days of the beginning of the universe. It was also involved in the Aqua Hoenn conflict 50 years ago. It was used by Archie to revert Kyogre to its primal form. It was generally generously donated to us by someone who wishes to remain. Oh, no way. Oh, uh, I wanted to just poke around the museum. I just wanted to see what there was. I just wanted to explore. And I found the story. I was just in a speech about this, or perhaps... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm only here for the relic. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I can't save it. Let's make this easy for both of us. I'm sure you know of the Abyssal Cult. You mean the terrorists? Are you trying to intimidate me? Well, yes, actually. I'm kind of a murderer. It'd be easier for both of us if you just moved. You don't even look like one of their members. That's because I'm not. I'm a leader. Thank you. What are you planning on doing with it? Well, you tell me. What could the leader of the Abyssal Cult possibly want with the artifact of Lugia? You must want to summon... Wait, what? The Blue Orb is Kyogre's artifact, not Lugia's. Ah, here it is. A secret compartment. Clever. It's hard to believe the title bell was this easy to find. The title bell, but... Please, why would I want some cheap plastic ball when Lugia's bell is resting underneath it? But that's the Blue Orb, the legendary artifact of Kyogre. You're absolutely right. But that's not the orb. Fake, how do you know? And how did you know the bell was there? The best place to hide something is in plain sight. Nobody would think to look for the bell next to a fake orb. And, well, this cheap plastic ball here... I donated it. Why? Thinking. Thinking. Well, as the leader of the Abyssal Cult, everybody assumes I'm after Kyogre. Naturally, people don't want me to get my hands on the blue orb. Having a copy that's guarded in a... That's, having a copy that's in a guarded museum... 
Oh, well, that's a... Well, what better way to make everyone think I don't already have it? And don't think I haven't noticed you there, Indef. You're the one that Mew chose? You want to stop me? Bring it. I'll be waiting. To the south of Mira lies the current location of the Whirl Islands. When you're ready to lose, stop on by. She knew your name. Just who exactly are you? I need to report this incident to my superiors. Oh man, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. I am too. Thank you for thanking me for visiting. Okay. Well, that brings us to the end of the episode. So I wanted to explore the town and I found the story. So I guess next time we get here, we'll go to the Whirl Islands and make things happen. So if you guys enjoyed yourselves, then go ahead and sub to the channel. Leave this video a like, pen me a comment, and let me know if you guys are enjoying the series and uh, what sort of improvements or changes to the team you might want to see. I mean, I'm essentially halfway through the game now. I could have access to a lot of options I just haven't realized yet. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to catch you guys in the next chapter. Bye-bye. I'm the one who wrote it long ago. But you're dead wrong if you think I'll just tell you this is why we save people. I, I was the prophet of Arceus in the